tutorial demonstrating how we use Git with Revisor to develop and edit WordPress sites. So we're just going to clone this repo down. Git clone. And you want to clone this into a folder that you can access locally through your development environments, Apache or Nginx server with PHP. We'll also need MySQL. However you use this, or however you have Apache or Nginx configured is entirely up to you. I have it set up with my local environment here that I can just scrap. So Now that I'm cloning this down, I'm going to access my local development MySQL, and I'm going to create a database. Now I've created a database named Valeint. I can go to Vale International underscore com. Now I have Apache configured. I'm using OSX here. Uh, I have Apache configured so that anything in my work folder can be accessed via uh, Vale International com dot hack. So any folder, and this is Vale International underscore com uh, with dot hack as a local development, can be accessed by just typing in that URL. However, you configure yours with WAMP, MAP, you might use .local.dev, that's entirely up to you, but the principle still is going to still be the same here, even in whether or not you're using a uh, vagrant, box, virtual, vagrant box or virtual machine. So now that I've cloned it down, I access the URL that the files are at. It's going to have me create a WP config file because we do not have those stored in the Git repo. In this case, the database name was bail imp. The username for me is going to be root, and I'm going to use the password 123. And for the table prefix, uh, we want to double check this, so change directory to WP content, uploads, revisor backups. If you list these, you'll see it's going to be revisor underscore, and then it looks like our, w, our table prefix is going to be veil int underscore. Because these are the table names, revisor underscore, and then table name. So, valent. Now, instead of running the install, because I've just created a WP config file, so if I get status, you can see that it's already added a WP config file for me. I'm going to concat all of these revisor files into a WordPress.sql file and use WPCLI. At WP-CLI.org, this is a wonderful, amazing tool that I appreciate somebody develop. Uh, that they had developed. Now, wpdb import wordpress.sql, which is the concatenated files. And then once you have this imported, I will do wp search replace. And I'm going to go with www. This is the live domain name, veilinternational.com. And I'm going to replace it with my development environment names, which is veilinternational.com.hack. We'll re search and replace all of these instances. 549 replacements were made, so then I can just go over here. And while I'm getting that started, I'm going to PHP storm. does not look like it's pulling in this CSS properly for me. Oh, it's the caches. The caches have not been cleared. So now the next step I do so I can get logged in because I may not have Vail International's WordPress login credentials is I will do WP user list because I'm using WP CLI tool. WP user update, and then I'm going to update the 
user with ID of one. I could also use you know, super user. You can learn all this through wp-cli.org. Um, user pass equals password. There we go. So now I can do super user password. Now I have a local development environment set up, ready to go, and I'm going to go ahead and empty all caches. And now I should be able to go back to the home page. Now uh, the system, my computer is trying to catch up with itself. And see that uh, we have a local clone of this website. Beautiful. Exactly what we were looking for. Then, to modify these, we will... Looks like WordFence updated itself here. We will create a feature branch, and then uh, so, and then commit our work, our, our changes, the files that we're changing to this feature branch, and then push it back up. That's all there is to it. You got a local development environment. You push up your branches, and then uh, now if I wanted to. Let's just say I want to add WF logs to the git ignore. Oh. And then I want to remove that folder Push all this work that I've done, this hard work that I've done here up to Bitbucket. Grab my URL for, to create the pull request since you just kick that back as a response, which is wonderful. Otherwise, you can just click create pull request. And then I will just create the pull request. You could attach me or any one of our staff to this to have it reviewed. Looks like a binary file is removed. Prove, merge, and then this will immediately get pushed out to the server as soon as it is merged into master. We don't like to make any changes to master. It's significantly easier to undo uh, groups of commits that are in a pull request or in a branch, a separate branch. And that's all there is to it, really. That's where I'm going to stop.